Welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we will take another look at the charts. And earlier this morning, this is my other Twitter account, I punted in a nice 50x long at this price just before 9k. And these were the lines uh, that made me do it. So yeah, it was actually the line uh, of this one breaking um, that yeah, made me do it. So yeah. Let's take a look at the charts. Um, yeah, this is what happened. Uh, a lot of people started shorting over here, over here, over here. And yeah, if everybody starts shorting, um, yeah, price will not go down anymore because people who are short need to buy back. So yeah, that is kind of what happened. I um, am short again from average uh, 960. Um, so yeah. We just had this little pump. I think price will go down again. Everybody is targeting this line at around uh, 9.4k. So yeah, that is the case at the moment. I am bearish still, like the previous days. Today I had this break. I saw this break, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm a, am, am I gonna catch it? Yes or no?" And I punted in the nice long. And yeah, sometimes it is scary. As you can see over here, four hours ago, I punted in this long. Not gonna show my size I'm trading with. Um, maybe later, but not at this moment. <clears throat> we are at an important level right now. And something else that would make me bullish right now would be a break of this line. But I don't see that happening. Um, I think we will die down from here again because everybody flipped long over here and yeah I don't think price will keep rising then um, so yeah that is the short um, short version um, yeah a break of, 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 of this level will mean we go to like seven and a half K uh, I think this level somewhere Still the same as the previous days, um, and of course the um, 200 moving average on the daily is around eight around 8k. So yeah, we will visit that one first. Probably will make a slight bounce on it, and yeah, that is about it. What would make me bullish is a break of this line and a break of this line, um, this trend line and this horizontal line. That would make me bullish again. And after that, it would be, of course, let's zoom out a little bit, the break of 10k and the break of this, this break and this break. And after that, 14k. So yeah, that is where we're at right now. I will remove some drawings. We will take a look at the higher time frames. Oh, sorry, guys. This is a line, this is the line we want to break, I hate shorting and I don't do it very often, and yeah, right now we have a round top just like over here, we just go down and eventually we'll make a bigger drop, so that's why I'm short again. The daily looks nice up till now. Um, I mean, turning bullish as well would mean closing above these ones. But I'm not bullish, sadly. And that's all because we broke this line. It depends on how you draw it, but in my opinion, we didn't break it yet. I mean, you would like to include those lines as well. And yeah. A break of that line and, and, and closing a four hour close or something above that would make me bullish, um, but it's not the case. What I'm always looking is, at is, is longs versus shorts. Um, I use Bitmax and I use the premiums and, and discounts on futures. Right now, everybody is yeah long again, or like the majority is long. It's not, um, it's not that big of longs, but it is mostly long again. We see it on the on the um, 
This one looks hobby, looks weird. Um, but yeah, uh, look, the premiums are, are high again, and we have premiums on on, um, on the June futures as well. Again, we didn't have that yesterday. We had discounts on them, if I cor remember correctly. Um, so yeah, these are the lines we are always watching, and yeah, price will eventually move to a level like this. I think we will go there, and in in a bad case, we will go back there, six and a half k around. I'm staying with that, and yeah, of course you can you can draw like uh, nice lines in, in in cases like that. I mean, you could also um, show people drawing head and shoulders in this the head left shoulder oh wait left shoulder oh right shoulder and you can see them in in in, in a lot of places i saw one earlier as well on a smaller time frame let's go to the hourly what did i see wait a second And the break of this one actually made me made me a bit. It was this one, kind of. This one we tapped it over here, tapped it over there, and yeah, we broke that line. And then we had something like like this. Um, no, never mind. Remove the lines, remove them all. Um, let's go to Ethereum. Of course, had a nice uptick as well. Break of this line, kind of. Um, not such a big move as BTC. And yeah, it's the same as, as, as with BTC. We need to break this line. To turn bullish again, and after that it's this one that is at $215. Need to break that one to become bullish again. Um, let's go to Ethereum BTC. Uh, kind of a reject of from that line. Nice test of support here would be nice and go up from there. That would be the bullish case. Let's remove some drawings. Let's take a closer look. Let's go to the hourly. And yeah, on the hourly we see. Zoom out. Makes things a bit more clear. And we see a break of this trend line. You can draw it in multiple ways a little bit. But I think, yeah, this is it. Touched it a couple of times, here rode it a little while, and then broke through it. And yeah, it's all about finding support now. Uh, you could also say um, the S&P, for example, with Bitcoin today, uh, went up a little. So maybe the correlation is back between the S&P 500 and Bitcoin. Um, yeah. I mean, let's zoom out a little. Where do we want to see support holding for Ethereum? I mean, of course, we want to see it holding over here. Um, I don't think it will go that low, but somewhere over here seems like a good area. We see a couple of places it touches it on. Over here would be nice as well, as long as this level yeah, holds. And um, if it doesn't hold, we are close to below like 0 0.02 and we do not want to go below that again because that would be looking yeah quite bad um, what is yeah i mean everybody is long balls long again on ethereum ethereum on bitmax always has a high really high funding um but yeah, this is quite high again. Is there a premium on the futures? Um, no, not really. No, 
There's not a there's not a premium between this one and this one, and that's yeah kind of good, kind of good. Let's take a look at the futures. Yeah, I think we did everything. There's not there's not really a premium uh, on Bitfinex versus Coinbase. It's kind of equal. It's within a dollar, so that's that's no premium or discount. I always look at Bitfinex versus Coinbase because Coinbase is where the new money comes in, the new fiat money. And um, if there's more than a ten dollar premium on Coinbase, for example, that's when I turn really bullish. Over here we see the 200 moving average, and it's still at 8k. Um, we had a nice retest of it over here, um, but I think we will go back to test uh, the. The 200 moving average bounce off it a little, just like here, and um, yeah, move back down. I'm afraid, and the break of this this one on the daily would make me bullish, and that's just above, um, yeah, 9.4k, like I said. So I see you guys uh, tomorrow again. I wish I had better news of being bullish, for example, but sadly I don't. Um, and yeah, I am short again. I see you guys tomorrow. And if you have questions, you can always hit me up on uh, Twitter, for example, Knife Catch Rambo or Bitcoin Edge. Um, and yeah, please do not forget to subscribe. And I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.